K-Gun 9 on your side first warning weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Skies at Tucson's airport now mostly clear. We're seeing just a few clouds. Winds from the east southeast at 14 miles per hour, 98 degrees, so still quite warm, but our humidity 16%. Our dew point at just 45 degrees. And that combination of numbers with those measurements of moisture in the air, not enough to get the job done for any rain this evening. So overnight, we're keeping it at partly cloudy skies, 77 for Tucson. Tomorrow, though, returning to 102 degrees with a 10% chance for rain by the afternoon. We will have a look ahead to that weekend forecast because we have some big changes moving in. In fact, a boost to our thunderstorms thanks to a tropical storm that we are now tracking. I'll show that to you in just a bit. Our temperatures had no trouble making it to the triple digits today in the Phoenix, Casa Grande, Gila Bend area. In fact, still in the triple digits there. Tucson has dropped to 98, down to 85 in Wilcox, where you're high earlier at 92. But we climbed to 101 in Safford, 101. Four for Tucson. First morning radar looking pretty quiet. We've had a few showers and storms across south central and far western Pima County. Those few showers moving to the west here about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So they are moving away from Tucson, not moving in our direction. So very little chance of seeing any rain this evening in the Tucson area or really statewide. I mean, aside from that activity in far western Pima County, really just some spotty showers across the state right now. There's a good reason for that. Our water Water vapor shows the dry air color coded in the orange and the gray, and that's just about covering the entire state right now. Some of this bright green, the bright white, that's air with more water vapor, and it's actually being pushed out because of the dry air invasion right now. But that's going to be changing. We'll still have that dry air to have to contend with tomorrow, a 10% chance for rain, that's it, and still in the triple digits. But we'll notice a bit more moisture moving in this weekend. That will take our temps down also. So a 30% chance for showers and storms on Saturday with a high of 98 will drop to a high of 94 Sunday, but you'll notice we've taken our chance for rain up a bit now 40% on Sunday, and it has a lot to do with this tropical system. This is Lorena and now Oh, a couple hundred miles just to the south of Cabo San Lucas here, but moving to the northwest at 12 miles per hour and is going to just kind of hug the Baja Peninsula here. That will bring more moisture to southern Arizona's monsoon. That southeasterly shift of winds will have that moist flow moving through and bring us a better chance for storms. Not just this weekend, but look ahead to next work week. I know you want to look at the weekend and then you have blinders on, right? You just want to stop there. But Monday, make sure you have the umbrella too. A 50% chance for showers and storms, 40% Tuesday, 30% on Wednesday for Patriot Day. And you'll notice that increase in moisture keeps our temps staying in the 90s. Guy, Jen? All right. Aaron, thanks so much. We're going to be right back after the break. We've got sports. Stick around. Starting Sunday. It's not a shark quake or even a shark nami. It's the biggest event to come up from the ocean depths. We're going to eat you alive. The first ever Shark Tank Week. That is a good idea. You're going to need a bigger TV for six nights of each shark's favorite episode. Shut up. For real. Leading to the season premiere Friday, September 20th. Back. <laughs> shark Tank Week starts Sunday, 8, 7 central. And the season premiere Friday, September 20th on ABC. Everyday weather, severe weather. Tucson's first warning weather. Watch Chief Meteorologist Erin Christensen and her first warning weather forecast. You'll see our advanced first warning technology gives you accurate information, and that means you and your family can be prepared for anything. Rain or shine, make sure you're ready for the changes. Erin Christensen and first warning weather, only on KGUN 9, on your side. Weeknights at 10.